Coney Island already has a roller coaster, boardwalk, and a beach, but soon a casino could be added to that list. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Corey Chambers. And I'm Shirley Chan in for Tamsin. Now tonight, residents will again have a chance to formally weigh in on this proposal. PIX 11 James Ford joins us live from Coney Island, where a lot of people are talking about this. James. Yes, a lot of people are talking, and they've been doing so all day. There are two information sessions today set up by the Brooklyn Borough President Antonio Reynoso. One was this morning and the other starts in about a minute. And right now there are people already gathering outside just before the meeting begins to express their feelings. And I could tell you many of those feelings are skeptical to say the least. 25 story hotel with a roller coaster and other amusements built into it along with the cyclone, the boardwalk, the wonder wheel, the baseball stadium and other iconic parts of Coney Island just steps away. That's what the developer of a proposed Coney Island casino says is on the way if it gets state approval to build here. But some people who live here say if it happens, they're expecting something different. Money is going to go in, money is not going to come out. These young boys are going to go out and start stealing and robbing these people. They were among the 150 or so people who left standing room only at an open forum about the proposed casino. Organized by the Brooklyn Borough President's Office, it was meant to provide a way for the community to get informed and give input. They were asked to write comments on post-it notes. We were limited down to a sticker today, which shows the kind of limitations they have for us and the kind of disdain they have for us as a community. We need more schools, not casinos. Greed, no good for our community, are what some notes said as part of a theme of skepticism. And these are business people. So no, they're not telling you they're going to offer part-time, but I'm not that stupid and neither are the people in this community. Robert Cornegie, a former city council member, is now a consultant for the casino developer Thor Equities. So instead of having these seasonal jobs that are only a couple of months a year, you can have those run 12 months a year. And so employment will be up, including everyone in Coney Island. The developer says it's committed to letting its profits spread to other businesses in the community. Where people can actually get points in the casino to go and spend those, those dollars in the immediate community. And you see right now, there is some protest just outside of this meeting as it prepares to begin. I can tell you, we just had someone else come up to us and say, well, why are they protesting? We need those jobs. We need these opportunities. The bottom line here is this is at this point uh, a mixed review regarding the casino with some for, some against. The borough president says that's why this was set up in the first place, to get a wide variety of viewpoints as the borough tries to deal with this issue of whether or not a casino should come here. We'll have much more coming up on the Pix11 News at 6 and 10 right now. Reporting live from Coney Island, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.